There's very few of the vets walking amongst us these days. You know, some of them are in their mid-90s. And this is the last chance to really use them to tell these stories and tell them right. Well, my company, there's four of us left that goes to the annual reunions. So we're getting gone. This needs to be told. And these actors seem to be just the ones to do it. It was a very humbling experience to, to sit in their presence and, and listen to their stories and have them share with us. Everything culminated in boot camp, which was run by Navy SEALs. Boot camp was getting five civilian actors to start thinking like military men. And for me, my personal goal was to ensure that they looked like there were five people moving in the same direction. I mean, we're tourists. We're just tourists in it. And, but we're doing the, the full on up at five in the morning tour. There's PTs, um, schooling, grunt work, obstacles, and, and until late in the evening, and we're eating cold rations and we're sleeping out in the rain and we have to stay up and do point guard. And, you know, someone's got on the hour, we gotta swear. I mean, we're, again, full immersion. It was an amazing bonding experience for the Fury team. And uh, it was tough. It was really tough, really hard. We, we didn't sleep working out, working all day and being picked apart and yelled at and all this crazy shit that we had to do. You tear down the individual and you build a team up, and there was no punches pulled. I don't know, for some reason, nothing puts you together. Like, you know, you're only as strong as your weakest link, and like, even carrying a log, you're rooting for everyone. And then it becomes that thing where it, sound, it looks like you're screaming at the person, you know, like in, in hatred, but really it's you want to see them work together. We went to camp, we got to know each other. You know, you spend five days in the woods, you know, uh, you get to know a little bit more about each other, and uh, you become more of a unit. But we're still individuals, you know, we're still, we're still individuals. We're all part of something we know bigger than us. You know, you got Brad Pitt and the fact that me and him can just bullshit and it's like, that's from boot camp, that's from fighting, you know, and that we can be completely comfortable with each other. You know, and now he's, he's a, I'd do anything for him. He's like a brother to me. So it's like, how fucking cool is that? That doesn't, that doesn't happen from just being on a, on a film set, you know? Very shortly after we start, we're gonna date day two. They were asking those questions. They were asking more than what we were feeding them. I think that they went further to, to sort of show them that, hey, we, we can go as hard as you want us to go. Um, that, that really surprised us as we continued to push and they took it and then they rose to the occasion. We all became really tight from that. And it was just a week. Um, you know, I'm a grown ass man, you know what I mean? And it was a, it was a tough, tough thing. I love these guys now. We all became very bonded under adversity, even though our adversity is you know, just a hint of, of what the real soldiers encounter. And we really learned where each other's strengths were and how to rely on that and cover for the others. And you know, by the end of it, we had five guys running a tank, five actors. By the time they, they graduated, it was a different cast. These guys were so bonded. They were so connected. They were finishing each other's sentences. And, and, and honestly, I was jealous because you could really see they were a family now. They're they brothers now. And that energy and that chemistry is what, what you see on the screen, which is why those guys feel so believable as a combat unit with a history together. You saw them function together. You start to think as a unit start to care about one another. That's something you don't see on movie sets. You see a lot of individual actors looking out for their role, their career, um, and their individual effort. If Shia wins and has a great moment, and Bernthal has a great moment, and Logan has a great moment, and Brad and anybody else in the movie, then I win, you know what I mean? Because I'm, I'm in a better movie. We're not pussyfooting here, it's not fake. Um, we feel it, I mean, we try to get as close to it as we can. All the guys in that room that we met basically you know, that's, that's how they threw it to us. It's gotta be that. I walked away with such a great understanding of the sacrifice that not just soldiers, but the families of soldiers made 
You know, we're making a movie. We didn't, we didn't go to war, but I, I do feel, I feel real love for the guys in the Fury. You know, I really do feel like we've touched upon a little bit of, the, of that brotherhood. And, they're, you know, I'll love them forever, and, and they'll always be a part of my life now. You know, my life, John's life, and, and uh, you know, that's something. Though. What a thrill. What a, what, a, what, a, what a wonderful what a wonderful gift that is, you know? And if, if any of that pops out on screen, then we're fucking real lucky.